I've known Jack Florio since second grade. We played on the same football team for the SYC Cougars, and we wore bright red Tampa Bay Buccaneers jerseys to practice every day. I wore a Derek Brooks, and he wore a Mike Allstott. In middle school, we played for rival football teams, but still remained best friends. Um, I can honestly say that Jack is the reason I came to EA in ninth grade. Now, I'm sure you all know Jack. He's a big redhead who is anything but a teddy bear, and believe it or not, he played lacrosse in ninth grade at least for five minutes in which he got two penalties and never stepped onto a lacrosse field again. <laughs> On a serious note, Jack is special because he is committed to everything he does and always has been more than any person I've ever known. Whether it's his family, friends, or football, he's always pushing to do better, and I am proud to call him my best friend. Jack has been like another brother to me for the past eight years. I always joke that Mrs. Florio is like my second mom, and his house is almost like my own. He's a leader in the community and a vital member of the class of 2013. Whether well, he's telling you one of his stories fit for any occasion, uh, or trying to give you an excuse why he needs to be in the sophomore lounge. He's a guy that's entered. Uh, he's a guy that's entertaining to be around. But uh, more importantly, he's a guy that's easy to rally behind. Uh, whether it's a pregame speech, or he's just leading by example, there's merit behind every word and action. And I can't think of a better person to lead us into the weekend, so please stand to greet my best friend and co-captain, Jack Gloria. Good morning, please be seated. This weekend is a weekend of memories and remembrance. It is the one weekend each year that summarizes and signifies what Episcopal Academy is and what it means to be here. Some of you have been here from the beginning. Others joined for upper school or another grade. As for me, this is my sixth EA Haverford AIS day and it will be my last. Each time this weekend gets here, the same thoughts pop into my head. What an atmosphere. What an unbreakable bond we have with our teams. And that there is no other school I would rather represent and no other place that I would rather be. I would like for you to take a moment and think about what this weekend means to you. Think about the victories and feeling of pure joy we share with our classmates and EA family when any sport wins, when every sport wins. Think about consoling your friends and honoring each other in the past when we have lost. Think about what it means to put on the blue and white. This year, this weekend means one more thing to me and my fellow 126 seniors. This is our last time. The last time we'll have a chance to play in front of the EA family. The last time we'll put on our uniforms. The last time playing with the guys and girls we become so close with. And the last time we'll go toe to toe with Haverford and AIS. This is where my remembrances begin. When my family had me visit EA, I was a frail sixth grader of about 185 pounds. <laughs> I thought this school would swallow me up. What I told my dad that day when I got home echoes my speech today. I said, Dad, everyone at EA was so different, yet kind of the same. I felt an immediate bond between the students. This is not a neighborhood school where everyone knows each other growing up plays on the same playground, wears the same clothes, shares the same spiritual, spirituality or political belief. Hard work, dedication, commitment, trust, and love. These aren't just words. They're words we live by every day at EA. On August 20th, we started our seasons off differently, yet the same. Everyone saw each other working hard in preseason at their respective sport. The expectation is the same every year. Compete and earn the respect of our opponents. We have done that this year across the board, and our teams, your teams, are more prepared to represent you than ever before. First and always foremost, the girls of EA. It has been another dominant year for Episcopal girls sports. You have put in the hard work necessary to succeed and because of that, we have a couple girls teams playing for Interact Championships today. 
Continue to put forth the hard work and effort we have seen all year, and I know you will be successful. For the guys, it's been a great year. Cross country team, led by two great captains, Steve and Dan. You guys, ha you guys have had another dominant year, and I don't expect it to stop on Saturday against Haverford. Pour your heart out on that course. Give it your all, and you will be victorious. Golf team, led by Sean and Alex. This is your time. I've heard all about how Haverford is the only Interact team that could beat us. Well, they obviously don't know EA Golf. With laser sharp focus and making putts, you will taste victory. Water polo, led by Kellen. I know it's been an up and down year for you guys, but this year, that all means nothing on Saturday. I know in that pool on Saturday, you guys will put it all together and bring us home a win. Soccer team, led by Troop. I've made it to a few games this year. I know what you guys are all about. I know the scoring machine you can be. I know, I know about the Haverford loss earlier this year. Put that loss behind you. If you play as a family and if you play as one, and if you firmly believe that you can beat this team, I promise you, you will. And for the football team, my brothers, when our journey began this year, no one expected us to compete in the Interac. No one expected us to even have a winning record. No one except us. We knew what we were capable of, and now we're here. We've swept through our schedule, defeating perennial powers like Malvern and Interboro. This season has been magical, and I wouldn't have rather done it with another group of guys. One last game, one last time, one shot at the championship we've worked so hard for. Let's finish it off. Seniors, this is the last time you will ever put on a helmet and shoulder pads, step to the line, lace up the cleats, or get in the pool. This ga these games signify an end for us, but the flame that ignites EA will never let us forget. Let's make a memory that we will never forget. For those of you who are not participating in the games this weekend, do not for one second believe that that means you are not a major factor in the outcome of these games. This weekend and these contests are going to get wild. It's going to be a tremendous atmosphere. We need you. In fact, I'm challenging you. I challenge you to be the best fans that you can be, to cheer harder and scream louder than anyone. Let Haverford and AIS know that nothing is going to be easy when facing EA. I challenge you to bring the noise to the game, to bring family, to bring your passion, your emotion, and your love of EA. Yes, it is most definitely a weekend of memories and remembrance. But more importantly, it is a weekend that demonstrates that we are indeed one. Vince Lombardi once said, I believe in God and I believe in human decency, but I firmly believe that in anyone's finest hour, their greatest fulfillment to all they hold dear is that moment when they have worked their heart out for a good cause and lie exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. This weekend, different sports will gather to compete. The athletes will be different in size and stature throughout, but the beliefs, the core values, and the way we compete will be as one. As we lie on our respective battlefields victorious, as we hang the EA AIS banner back in our case and gather to receive the sweater from Haverford, we will celebrate the flame of diversity and competition, the flame of EA that burns bright in us today and will continue to burn in the competitors who have come before us and the competitors who will come after us. We will forever be united as one. Let the games begin.